We are out here on Lake Erie. We just had our flagpole delivered in this nice packaging. I was very happy with the shipment quality. What we are doing right now is just unloading some concrete and getting some other supplies ready. You're not supposed to store the flagpole in the packaging. It says that it could stain the finish. So what we did was just unpackage it and keep it in our garage for now. But what we have here is a 25 foot, five inch base diameter, 0.125 wall thickness eater flagpole. I was really happy with quality. Um, the finish feels really nice and I think it should look really good when we fly it. It's a beautiful day. We are going to try to install a flagpole on the corner of our house, somewhere in there. We're just taking some measurements now. So it'll be right on the corner, We're right on the canal, so it should look nice from the water. But hopefully we'll be able to install this with no problems. We're gonna start with digging the hole right here. I'll go over the flagpole specs later, but let's head to the digging of the hole now. Okay, so we made some good progress in the hole so far. Um, you can see we're just storing the dirt in our wagon just so we can keep the grass nice and clean. Here we have the standard ground sleeve that we're using. Um, it comes with these two nice steel plates on the bottom, 3 16th inch with a lightning spike on the bottom. Um, I'm really happy with this. I know some setups use just a PVC pipe setup, but I'm really happy that ours came with the standard ground sleeve. Um, but we're, gonna <laughs> we're gonna continue digging and we'll see you in a little bit. pretty low here we're just about at the three foot mark but now we are hitting a bunch of roots and stumps so it's kind of a pain right now not really quite sure how we're gonna get another 10 inches out of this especially with just a normal space shovel so we're gonna need to figure this out Okay, so what we're doing right now is you're actually driving a PVC pipe in to help widen the hole. We're having a lot of issues just using a spade. Um, you know, we don't have a post hole digger, so this is kind of what we result to do. But as you can see, we just drove in this PVC pipe and it actually widened the hole really, really nicely. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but we can see what kind of dirt came, comes out of this. Um, this is just, oh yeah, that's pretty good for just using PVC pipe. So if you're ever having issues widening your holes and you don't have the proper tools, just definitely use a PVC pipe. Um, the results are pretty good and we're gonna keep widening it with this. And then you know, we're still having issues with some of the stumps that are in the way, but hopefully we'll just be able to get those out with an ax. finished digging the hole. It's approximately 46 inches deep. It's quite the dig. Um, that will take this, the ground sleeve, right about quarter way down the lightning spike. So it should be nice and set in there. Um, should have no issues with the pole moving around once we put the concrete in. It's getting kind of late tonight, so tomorrow we are going to, uh, I guess tomorrow morning we're going to put in the concrete. Day two, another beautiful day in Lake Erie. With our concrete ready. The hole was dug last night, and we're gonna pour the concrete around the ground sleeve today. Should be a good one. So we're still mixing concrete. I have about a foot and a half left to go. We have a little Lake Erie storm coming in, but hopefully we'll get it done before the rain comes. We have a bit of a storm coming in, it's raining. You probably can't see it in the GoPro video, but it's quite windy. The flag would look amazing right now if it was flying right here. But 
tomorrow we'll continue. This is a great right. oh, so, good sand. Day three, it's sand day. We're gonna install the pole, put the sand around it. It's gonna look beautiful. I like you. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished setting up some of the hardware on the flagpole. So here we have some sand. There's our ground sleeve. Um, and here's some of the work that we've been doing. Added the cleat to the pole. Just the flag snaps and the flag covers. Um, measured about five, five feet across because we have a five by eight flag. Here we have our rotating truck and our nice 12 inch ornament eagle. I think it'll look very nice looking over the lake on the marina. Now we're just going to go ahead, sand it up, apply the sand, and we'll see how she flies. Okay, so we just compacted the sand into the ground sleeve. We just put the flash collar down. Looks pretty level to our naked eye. We compared it to the corner of the house. And now we're gonna raise the flag. Okay, so we just attached the flag clip. Now, Marks is gonna briskly pull it up. We're gonna do a nice little tie around the cleat and it's gonna flag beautifully. So there it is. We added another great flagpole into this great country overlooking the water. It's gonna be flying for many years to come. <laughs>